Our next caller is, uh, we've got Linda listening from Michigan. Linda, welcome to the program. Hi there. Hi. <laughs> My question is, um, after death, there's a couple passages. One says, absent with the body, present with the Lord. And another one says um, that the dead shall rise in the air and we'll all meet him in In the clouds when Jesus comes. Sure, yes. My question is, really, where do you go once you die? Okay, good question. Are you going to be automatically present with the Lord? or? All right. Well, you raise a good question. Why does the Bible say that the dead in Christ will be raised at the second coming? If when a person dies, they immediately go to heaven. And then another question comes up. Well, if somebody dies and they're unsaved, do they immediately go to hell even before the judgment takes place? Because the judgment takes place at the end of the world. So how does this all work? Well, if you look at the Bible, death is the reverse of life. And if you go back to Genesis and you read about how God created mankind in the beginning, it says God formed man, speaking of Adam, out of the dust of the earth, and God breathed into him the breath of life, and man became a living soul. That's the King James Version. So what makes life? It is the physical body made from the dust, plus the Spirit of God, the breath of life, that gives us life. When a person dies, the body returns to the earth as it was, and the breath of life, that spark of life that comes from God, returns to God, But that's not the conscious thinking being that returns to God. Um, The person just simply sleeps, as the Bible speaks of death as being asleep, an unconscious sleep, until Jesus comes and you have the resurrection. Now, what about the verse that says, absent from the body, present with the Lord? Well, when somebody dies, the very last thought that they have before they close their eyes in death, if that person is thinking about Jesus and they've surrendered their life to Christ, When they close their eyes in death, the very next thing they see is Jesus coming in the clouds of glory and they are resurrected. They don't even realize that a hundred thousand years might have passed from their death to the resurrection. To them, it's immediate. Jesus is there. They're coming. So for a person who dies, the very next conscious thought they have, they present with the Lord. And that's the second coming. Okay. So what passage, what? Can I go to to find out about that sleeping? Oh, absolutely. You know, we got a study guide that is just filled with verses. There are many in the scripture that talks about death being likened unto a sleep. And if you just call our resource phone number, ask for the study guide called Are the Dead Really Dead? And we'll be happy to send that to you, Linda. We also have a website okay. called deathtruth.com. If you have access to the Internet, you might want to go to that one. It's real easy, deathtruth.com. And take a look at what the Bible has to say, just deathtruth.com, yes. And there are verses there, there are sermons you can watch, and I think it will really make it very clear when you put all the various passages of the Scriptures together on that particular subject. All right, well, thank Thank you for your call. Appreciate it. We're going to try and do one more caller 